We're going to pick up where we did on uh, left off on one of our other videos. Uh, we talked a little bit about zoomies, exhaust, some of the different uh, combinations for engines, power adders that are getting used now, not just in NPK, but in uh, NHRA and everywhere else across the country. So uh, we've got a new mock-up laying here. Don't know if everybody that's watching probably didn't see what happened a couple of weeks ago at PRI, but uh, one of our partners, Hearts Turbo, which is now also Hearts Charger. We've got a mock-up laying here that we're going to stick on an engine combination. This is set up for a Proline Hemi. Um, once again, it's just a mock-up, so there's no guts in it, but it'll give us the outside dimensions that we need to be able to mock everything up for it. So people wonder about the different engine combinations and and what's more tunable, what's easier to run, easier to drive. That's one thing. It used to be the big, I guess, fantasy that the turbo cars were so easy because all you could do is just turn the knob and crank the boost up and they would just go faster than everything else that was on the planet. Turbo cars, truth be known, are probably the hardest combination out there to tune. Uh, Steve Petty can attest to that along with Jamie Miller and, and anybody that tunes one of these things. So. There's so many more variables to one of the turbo cars than there are with any of the other power adders. Uh, the nitrous deal is it's in a class of its own just because of how they apply power, all the different stages, the, the timing, the progressive flow, everything that you want to do with the nitrous car. They, so they've got a lot of adjustability. You would think the turbo cars are similar to that, but honestly, the more variables you add into some things sometimes make everything more complicated. The turbo cars also do not have the advantage of the zoomies which create downforce or another way to look at it is, is weight in the car to provide more traction or to keep the nose down but yet that weight that, that the zoomie provides is actually invisible weight that you don't have to accelerate down the racetrack. So you get the downforce, you get the added bite or traction from, the, from that downforce and weight, but yet you don't have to accelerate it. Where the turbo cars, the easiest way to, for me to, to put it that somebody doesn't understand is that the turbo cars are quieter and the exhaust energy coming out of a turbo car gets chopped up by the exhaust wheel or the turbine wheel and they're quieter. Anything that an easy way to look at it in my mind is that anything that makes more noise is got more exhaust energy. So you could take a, an engine that had a collector style header on it, uh, even if it was a blown car or a nitrous car, and they were quieter. You put a zoomy on it with individual pipes coming out, and now they're once again louder. So the, the louder they are, hence even a nitro car, uh, the more exhaust energy they have, the more downforce they, they produce. So by using the zoomy, it creates a downforce and or depending on how far the, the tip of the zoomy is turned back, uh, it helps it accelerate off the starting line because it actually acts as a little bit of jet propulsion per se. The fuel cars, the, the funny cars went through this uh, two, three, four years ago until NHRA mandated a, a specific angle on them that they couldn't go past because uh, they were getting them turned back so far that then the, the front wheels weren't on the ground down at the finish line. So this Hearts Charger, uh, once again, is, is a centrifugal new design. Um, it's a centrifugal, no different than some of the other companies out there that are building as far as the actual concept. Uh, they've done some different things. They've, they've redone their, their, the gear case is different. Um, the fuel pump will go here, uh, V-bands on. It is a gear drive versus a belt drive, one more, one less thing to fail on them. Um, the front gear case and bearing assembly that holds the, the shaft and the, and the uh, compressor wheel, this is, is pressure fed off engine oil. So this will have engine oil going to it. This will be returned back to the pan. So, so this part of it will be a lot like a turbocharge application or turbocharger minus the fact that this will be gear driven in here. Like I said, we're missing a few pieces in here, missing the drive shaft in between the two, but there's a gear case back here, there's a gear case here. 
but this one will be pressure fed. All the bearings, the high speed bearings will be pressure fed engine oil instead of just a contained four or five ounces. So the concept is the same, but uh, wheel design is going to be different, of course, and they're going to use some, some wheel designs that they've found to be uh, work really well in their turbocharged applications. So we're going we're gonna to bolt this on and, uh, and get everything mocked up, and then as soon as they're ready to actually start running these things, we're going to take them out and run them. Um, once again, as far as the tunability of, of the turbocharged stuff versus the let's just say crank driven, be it a roots, be it a, a, a centrifugal. Um, anything that's tied to the crankshaft is more tunable because you can take timing out of it and that actually takes power out, slows the engine acceleration down, which slows the blower down, which slows everything down. So if you get into a bad spot in the racetrack, you can pull power out of this thing by taking timing out of it and it directly affects how much boost it makes or how hard it's accelerating. You do that on a turbocharged combination, it actually just puts more heat into the exhaust because you're retarding the timing. And by putting more heat into the exhaust, then it actually speeds up, puts more exhaust energy in it, actually speeds up the turbocharger. So you don't get the same effect, tunability wise, pulling out 10 degrees of timing on a turbo car that you do 10 degrees of timing on, on anything like a roots or a screw blown car. Once again, anything that's tied to the crankshaft. Also on the turbocharged applications, exhaust leaks become uh, real problems trying to get them to spool. Um, trying to spool at high elevation such as Denver, Boise, Tucson that we go to uh, causes the turbochargers uh, some issues or can. Where the procharge combinations stick it on the deck and, and instantly are on the two tap. So, just a whole lot of things, um, easier to tune, you don't have a boost controller, it will, uh, once again, you're just taking out variables from, from the two combinations, so that's why a lot of the guys are, are going to this combination is they're more tunable, probably more repeatable. Do they make as much peak power? No, and not at this point in time. Um, yet to be seen what this combination will, will yield, I've, I've got high expectations about um, how this is going to work out. We should know here in another 30 days or so when these things actually hit the racetrack. But for now, um, kind of give you a little tutorial on what the difference in combinations are, why people are going to some of these things, why hopefully this one will be better than some of the other platforms out there. So um, we'll keep you updated and give you some progress on on how these things go and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be resetting some records here before long. And while I'm at it, while I'm thinking about it, uh, hadn't really said before, but uh, we're a dealer here at the shop for for Hearts, for their turbochargers, for their the new Hearts charger now. So anything like that that you guys need along with uh, our last video we did was a was for Aeromotive. We, we carry pretty much, uh, or are a dealer for pretty much anybody and everybody in the business from Strange, Lamb, Mark Williams, uh, Aeromotive, I mean, you name it, we either can get it or, or have it. So if you guys are in the, in the market for anything, fuel tech, anything like that, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to take care of you. Uh, hopefully our years of experience will, will pay off and, and shorten your learning, your learning curve up a little bit and get you the right parts from the start. So anyhow, guys, we'll uh, talk to you later and give you some eye candy to look at.